Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. Are there colors and markings? I believe they come from Giedland. Are there none left alive to spill their secrets? We may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find... An ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound. Scratching your ass in search of silver. Put an end to this one. Your silence earned you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor. Give it to him. Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go, and do not return. <sighs> I thank you. This is not mercy, but is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... To show mercy would endanger us. Soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, you will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps.
Sun B. One of our- Gilbert, are you well? I am, but... I wish I could have risen to the challenge put before us. Instead of just hiding here in the Longhouse. You were exactly where you needed to be. Defending the people. And yourself. I know. I just... Our forces outside were sufficient. And your father would have many unkind words for me if anything had happened to you. I know. I only wish my father's long shadow didn't darken my prospects here. I want to learn from you, not watch you. I have no doubt. Next time, then. Good God, Van B. One of us? Tekla, you look like you wrestled a bear. Is something wrong? God save all. I was robbed on the road between here and Lincoln. By who? Did you get a good look at them? They were Saxons, I know that much. A pack of them lifted four barrels of my ale and all the coin I had on me. The biggest one pulled me off my horse and stuck his mouth in my ear, said, Tell Guthban we expected him home soon. Guthban? That's Battlebone in the Saxon tongue. Are you sure? That's what he said. It's not someone here, is it? Not that I know of. I do not begrudge us taking in orphans, Eivor, but some of these Saxons, we hardly know them. You ought to ask around. A good idea. You take care of yourself. Let me see to this. Thank you, Eivor. Eivor, if you've a moment to spare... Petra, what is wrong? It's my brother. Wallace was meant to return hours ago, but I've seen neither hide nor hair of him. He's usually punctual. I'd like to search the woods for him, but alone I fear I would have little luck. Would you join me? Two could cover much more ground. We should go now. Do you know where to start? Near Peterborough. It's where he buys his tanning liquids. I know he sometimes makes camp at a crossroads between here and there. He can retrace his steps. With luck, he hasn't done anything foolish. Is he prone to that sort of thing? Never. That's why his absence worries me. I told you how we found him, didn't I? You did. Led by a white elk to a lost babe in the woods. A fated encounter. Fated, yes. As if gifted from one guardian to another, he was bestowed on us like a... like a babe among the reeds. Over there. He may have stayed somewhere nearby. If he did, he left traces. I need your eyes, my friend. Oh no! Eivor! Over here! A set of tools. If they belong to Wallace, why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground, to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us. Careful, Petra. Look at his eyes. There's something wrong with this one.
strange and heady. I don't recognize it. It has a familiar sourness, but I can't place it. Not the smell of death. It is almost pleasant. It must be Wallace's clothes. The trousers are wet. Probably pissed himself. Someone was wounded. A knife attack, I think. What have you found? What are you waiting for? I saw it, Avor. I saw him nearby. Wallace? The white elk. The white elk that brought me to Wallace years ago. It was there. I saw it there. Are you certain? As sure as I see you now. He's back. Hurry! There's no time! Here! Here, Eivor! Inside! Petra! Where are you? Eivor! I'm here! Come! Petra! Hello! Mimi, guide me. I lost her too. Ah, the elk. He will know where she has gone. I am. I'm sorry to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the white elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. It may be you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. You live a comforting life. Out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic. I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. Uh, we are looking for her brother, Wallace. She has been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? Ha! Is Petra near? Uh, I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. What? What is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. Here in Midgard, return to Jotunheimer! Go now, or die here! What have you done with Petra? to Petra. Answer me! Eivor, stop! I'm here! I will make them talk, Petra. I must know the truth. I must know where you are. Eivor, I am right ah! here. No need to question this carrion further. Uh, uh, yes. Sorry. Now come. I believe I know where we'll find Wallace. Up there! His trail leads this way. Petra, I, I met your old friend. The White Elk. But he vanished before my eyes, before I found you. You were visited! For a time, we talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Ah! Look there! This is strange, Seda Vitra. Where are you? <laughs> Over here! Uh. Eivor, come on! I'm up here. Petra, how are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? Come to me. I'll show you. How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. 
Move! Run in a straight line! No, 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 no! Too far! Too far! Amazing! You did it! Just like your Sunan! And not a scratch on you! Now let's go. Wallace should be over there. Are you sure Wallace is here? I, I see no one. I believe so. We should ask the rabbits. They will know something. Of course. The rabbits. We've been here before. This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no! The wolf spirits have wakened! Good day, Spirit. I hope I'm not intruding, but have you seen my brother Wallace? Damn! This one doesn't seem to have it! Petra, hurry! I see him. Come on, Eivor, chase the elk! No, no, please don't disappear! Not now! Ah, not until we have Wallace! No, no! Don't go! Wait, wait. We're home. Full circle with nothing to show for it. Uh, so what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone brain stoat! We've been looking for you! And here I am, freshly rested and ready to work. Your day's late! I was carrying quite a burden coming home. Slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> mushrooms. So the elk. Just another dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They are often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be buzzing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again, without the mushrooms. We could. But I will have to ask the rabbits for permission.
Tarbin, do you have a second? I was wondering if... I am Guthpen, Eivor. It means battle bone. Not the name of a cheery baker, is it? Not one who bakes bread, no. So, how did you earn this name? Before I came here, I lived another life. A brutal, bloody life. I served with a gang of mercenaries. I was their weapon, roaming the wilds of England. Did whatever they asked of me, and all they asked was violence. When I left, I laid this sword on the grass and made a vow. I swore never to spill another drop of blood, to abandon acts of violence, to never kill again. A hard promise for a hard man. It wasn't. Not for me. This life here is all I've ever wanted. I've never been more at peace. This is my doing. I brought all this upon you. It is down to me to fix it. Tarbin, by threatening you, they threaten my clan. I cannot allow that. These men are foul, Eivor. You should not have to fight my battles for me. Do you not hear me, Tarbin? If they threaten you, they threaten me. So let us face them, together. Very well. Meet me outside when you're ready. I believe I know where they will be. If you wish to face your old friends, I'm ready when you are. Good. I'll lead the way. I want you to know. Did it come close, my old crew? Did it come close, my old crew? I can handle it myself. Forgiving me is all the work you need to do. There's nothing to forgive. You walked away. They pursued. By axe or by fist, I will do what must be done to protect my clan. <laughs> You're living the life you want, aren't you? Before we are spotted, tell me what I should expect here. Will they attack us on sight? I shouldn't think so. No. Nothing like that. It's not how Wilf operates. Yes, he's a clever one. And rather kind when you meet him. Makes you feel like you're a friend. Family, even. I met him a decade ago, and he was the first person to truly welcome me. To see some value in me. He told me I had a gift. For intimidation. Persuasion. Violence. Just by the size and strength of me, he knew how to use me. What do they want from you now? They'll want me back. They'll want me to be the man they think I am. Monstrous and massive. Wilf and them were the only family I had then. But their love was conditional. Wilf only loves what he owns. So what do you intend? I know I won't go back. I don't want more blood on my hands. But apart from that, it's hard to say. Who knows what they have in mind?
Oh my brother! Die! Stopping. That house, there. They're likely within. It won't look like much, Eivor. But don't be fooled. And don't take Wilf lightly, charming as he seems. The man is a serpent. I've met plenty of charmers who turned out to be snakes. I know, I know. Only a warning. Let's go inside. Gotham, my boy, as I live and breathe, you got my message. And you brought a friend. Who might you be, Dane? His new leash? I am Eivor, and the woman you robbed was one of my clan. That will not stand. I oh, know, I know. I'm busted up about it. But tell... Tekla, was it? Tell her that Arayal is some of the finest we've tasted. I am done with you, Wilf. But we are not done with you, boy. We gave you food, shelter, ale to drink, riches galore. We made you who you are. For all you did for him, he repaid you with blood and sweat. Did he not? You're a fiery one, I like that. But the ink was dried on this deal well before your number arrived in England. If you wish to clear Tarbin's name, I'm happy to help with that. It's only a small matter of cost. Some weeks back, soldiers confiscated my personal wares, shall we say. Tried to confiscate me as well, but I gave them the slip. If you're keen, you could recover my belongings and return them to me. Do that, and your name is clear. I... I, I can't. I promised myself I would leave all this behind, but... If it will clear Tarbin's name, we will recover what is yours. Where are these soldiers? Camped not far to the west. A battalion of bloated, brainwashed military men. You can't miss it for the smell. Wait here, then. We will return before you sprout another pair of horns. God go with you, Eivor. your fight. You don't need to do this. But I am. Now listen. When we reach the camp, leave everything to me. I will find Wolf's goods and bring them to you. If I'm spotted, it won't be pretty. Many may die, and I do not want you involved. You must not break your vow. No vow stands above my duty to my friends, Abel. I could not leave you alone with them should they attack. If it comes to that, stand aside until then. I will. Have my word. <laughs> All right, wait here and stay out of sight.
My blows! Let's bring this back to Wilt. You handled that better than I would have. Is this the sort of work you did with Wilf and your family of Marauders? A quick robbery like this? That was the least of our work. We stole from the poor, killed the helpless, cheated the dimwit. We were lower than slugs. I shudder to remember our best days. And I weep for our worst. Let it go, then. Remember only what makes you a better man. I have returned. We have your goods. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put them there. The ledger. Of course. Happy to honor it. My goodness. Such a lack of trust these days. It's a dark age. No mistake. That's it, then. We're done? Aye. You are free to walk from this place and live as tob in the boring bread maker for the rest of your days. But you, Eivor, if you ever get tired of the settled life, we could always use a thief with your skills. 
Think about it. Tarbin, are you satisfied? Yes. I cannot thank you enough, Abel. I feared the worst when I heard my old moniker. Yes. 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 I cannot thank you enough, Abel. I feared the worst when I heard my old moniker, Guthman. Hadn't heard it in years. Wretches up fearful memories. I imagine. How did you fall in with that bunch? After my mother died, I sought family. Wilf offered it. He looked at me, took me in and told me who I was. Who I could be. I don't crave that belonging anymore. Among you lot, people accept me as I am. The greatest gift I ever got. Peace. Many men are calm because they have never known a storm. You weathered the storm and worked through it. That is a rare thing. That means a lot. Thank you. You think Tekla will be upset with me when she learns why she was robbed? She's a kind enough woman. And she has faced greater dangers than a few thieves. I suppose you don't build a clan of warriors without seeing your share of danger? my attention, you know. The moment I first saw you, I knew there was something special about you. You have an empathy. I see it in your eyes, having witnessed its absence in so many. You see a problem and you solve it. For you know it is better to see it done than to let it fester. A curse of leadership, I suppose. A calling can feel like a curse, but you wear yours well. Good to be home again. That is, if I haven't robbed myself of the pleasure of calling it home. Tarbin, in spite of all, you're welcome here. And you owe us nothing but the work you love. Right. Payment in fresh loaves of bread. I can manage that. But first, one scrap of your past remains. Right. The ledger. Toss it. Purge the past. With pleasure. <laughs> 